Happy Saturday. Mm, pirate Raiders. Oh, that's why we're here to uh, stop these guys from doing a little invasion force thing. How do we stop that exactly? We take their planet, don't we? Or disrupt the hell out of them, I think. Uh oh. Anyway, it's almost time for the scout report. Just waiting for that to go by. So, scout. So, scout report. Scout Watch 2021, part 32, day negative 34. Of course she's been seen the past 24 hours. Where else would she be? She came by, let's see, last night for dinner. She came by this morning for breakfast, and she wouldn't leave. Um... By not leaving as she was, apparently Mrs. Gimpy gave her food earlier this morning. And then she came back about 7.30 or so, I think it was. And she just laid there in front of her door, looking inside. I was making fun of her. I'd get up on purpose and just go, hey, Scout. <laughs> and then walk out of the room. Mrs. Gimpy kept looking at him. She goes, stop doing that. I go, why? <laughs> it's not, she's the one who stays there, not me. So we did that. And then last night, what was it? Uh... Oh, that's right. She followed Mrs. Gimpy and the dogs home from the from the evening walk, and I don't think Mrs. Gimp. I think Mrs. Gimpy had already fed her last night, so she wasn't going to feed her again. And I was sitting on the couch, waiting for the dog, or just sitting on the couch waiting for Mrs. Gimpy to get settled in and stuff. And she, I keep seeing her saying, "Get out, Scout! Scout, get out!" <laughs> and I'm going, "Okay, whatever." And she's, <laughs> and then I, and I said, "Fine, I'll get up." And I, I stand up, and Mrs. Gimpy's all, oh, you better go, Scout. He's getting up. He's going to get you. And I don't know what's happened. And then I come, and, of course, she's around the, the edge of the end of the couch there. So I get up there, and I look. And she's just sitting there in the middle of the floor, just looking there. And I start moving towards her. And as soon as I take a step toward her to escort her out the front door, she shoots around me and goes running into our kitchen. <laughs> so I had to go back there, escort her out of the kitchen, and push her back out towards the door because, you know, she didn't want to leave for whatever reason. You know, I don't know why. But anyway, so the answer today, of course, is, yep, hashtag Mrs. Gimpy's cat. So once again, we do this every day at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT. We you two get to learn about our adventures with Scout. Scout is getting much more, um, hmm, what's the word? Uh, territorial, I guess. I don't know if territorial is right. She seems to think that she lives here. Because, like I said, this morning she was plotting in front of our front door for a good hour, I would say, after she had already eaten. And then last night she had no intention of leaving until I got up to make her move. So, And Mrs. Gimpy, of course, denies all responsibility for it. She goes, it's not my fault. And I go, yeah, it is. You keep feeding her. And then she says, last night she goes, okay, well, I'm going to stop feeding her. And I, I just laughed at her. And I go, yeah, sure, you're, sure you are. She goes, well, this, I, I shouldn't be having to feed her. This is what her owner is supposed to do. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I agree. However, you keep feeding her anyway. And she goes, well, I'm going to stop. And I go, uh-huh, sure you are. So what she did this morning, she fed her. So that lasted a whole, <laughs> I'm going to say, not even 12 hours. <laughs> Mrs. Gimpy lasted, I think, maybe 9, 10 hours at most from not feeding Scout. This is one of the... Okay. Anyway. So we're headed over here to uh, disrupt their ability to... Uh... Ah, just disrupt their ability to do stuff. Okay, comm directory. Anybody here retiring? Nope. Uh, military options. Ooh, yep. This is a New Republic station, and this is their f their stuff. Weird. Star Fortress. Yeah. We shall engage them. But his poor hungry kitten. Yeah, she's so hungry. So hungry. Stupid cat. <laughs> stupid, stupid cat. Let's see. Bring in those guys. We're bring gunships or fighters? Let's do fighters. That looks like we're doing gunship too. This'll work. 
Yes, this is a real fight. Can't be real stupid here because there's a station involved. Stay with me. And follow him. Follow him, and you follow him. Okay. Let's see how the drunks handle this. <clears throat> Okay, send the fighters in after those guys. Come on, Victory, get out of the way here. I don't think their Y wings made it. We're not spread out enough. Got to kill this node here. Get this out of the way. I don't think that made it. Okay, slow them down. Wow, that Marauder just disappeared. <laughs> Uh-oh, Luke Tools is down there. You can tell about all the little green stuff coming up. Surprise the station's not dead yet. He's running. Lots of ships are running for him. Station. Oh, this, that's the last side there, right? Yeah, there it is. Can I just spread out too much? Uh, I think he's, it's spinning fast enough. I mean, this is supposed to be a fortress. It is. It's a star fortress, so it has a lot of health. But there it goes. I mean, that thing just has a lot of health. It's not very big, but it is a fortress, so... It's no, uh... No slouch, I guess. Probably last longer. Yeah. Oh, look, we have more to kill here. We're not done yet.
Okay, sending fighters after the smaller ships first. Telling my fighters to regroup because there's none left. Back, we're not done with you yet. Two dominators down in a few seconds. Wow, they still have big ships left. Well, bigger ships. Not big ships, but bigger ships. And look, the fighters are ready to go back out. That shields are just city ducks. Most ships are. But uh, the Dominators have a fair amount of armor on them, though, so they don't. They're not as shield dependent, but they still die. It just takes longer to kill them because of that armor they have. CAB, dead. Okay, so. New Republic. So those guys retreated. This one never even entered. Chicken. Ship recovery. You met on a Tom Falk. So, uh, we can launch a raid. Try to acquire valuables. Ooh, a Nana Forge. And we'll take uh, some supplies. Please too. stop saying oops. You are making me look bad. 82% uh, rate effectiveness, so launch the raid. Keep our preparations secret, then proceed. What would that do for us? Suffer no penalty to your standing with the New Republic. Will not help if forced to turn your transporter on, or transponder on, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, who cares? I know it's us. Okay, we lost 257 Marines. But we got another Nano Forge. And, um, Com Directory. Now we did that, I think. We can do Orbital Bombardment just because we can. Do Tactical, dump a bunch of fuel on them. We got lots of fuel. Okay, so we're screwing with their stability. Military operations have been disrupted. Oh, we definitely wrecked their day. Definitely wrecked their day. More ship recovery. We can get those. It's sad that the New Republic doesn't have better ships, though. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Well, thanks for watching and... <laughs> We have disrupted their, or made their expedition fleet is no longer going to happen, so that goes away. And we're over here already, so bounty for the Empire. We can do that. So we'll go over here next, because these guys are causing problems within our system, so. Do with them. No, oh, Gimpy leveled up. So Gimpy is looking for what? 
All combat ships, including charisma, uh, militarized civilian ships. Every deployed combat ship grants plus 2% to ECM during or raiding for the fleet. I'm going this way for all oh, ships. Combat ships. First thing, oh, we actually need to get this one. Govern more colonies without penalty. Manage one more administrator. Is this one? Oh, govern colony. Accessibility and fleet size. Oh, yeah, we want that. So it looks like we might go in this way. So crew training. All combat ships including blah blah blah. Carriers and militarized ships. So plus 7% maximum combat readiness for combat ships. Maximum 15%. Plus 14 seconds. Peak performance operating time for combat ships. Maximum 30. Oh. So we have to do this one first, don't we? Damn it. All frigates with officers and... Oh. We didn't have this already. I thought it did. Wolfpack tactics. All frigates with officers including the flagship. Plus 20% damage to ships uh, larger than frigates. Plus uh, 120 seconds peak performance time. And if lost in combat, ship is almost always uh, recoverable. If it's the flagship stuff. Because we need to get this uh, governed colony thing. Okay. Just jump out. Empire did a raid somewhere. They didn't say where. And how far away are we? We can probably get a jump in. Dun, dun, dun. So again, we're headed over to a ludic path system because they're causing trouble in our systems. So that's where we're going. And there's a bounty on them too, so that I hope pay the bills. Wow, we're down to 177,000. How'd that happen? I thought I had more money than that. Okay, we've got a gas giant and a cryovolcanic in there. It's probably where their base is, based on the stuff that we're seeing on sensors. Remnant Ray targeting the CIS and Empire. That's what they're looking for. Okay, um, who's here? Nobody. Dun, 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 dun. Trade goods and stuff. <laughs> this is always fun. Trading goods with the planet you're about to uh, basically beat the crap out of. Stuff. Swords, Aromas, Tin Lands, Sort of Data, Black Gun, don't care. Those. Oh, that's right, we beat up on some uh, Star Wars ships, so this, this stuff came from. Swarmers, we don't use. Ravians, no. Turboys, we keep. Cushion keep, no reapers, first stuff there. Sort. Okay, so 80 grand. Hmm. Military options. Oh, they're little friends here. So they've got a, just a regular orbital station, so this thing's gonna go down fast. Gauge a station. Yeah, we should be fine. So, Ludic Path. 
committed a horrible mistake messing with us. Okay, fighters, take those guys out. into me. Oh, these guys are not healthy at all. <laughs> Ludic Path is like fighting the friggin' pirates. Their ships are crap. But they're so much fun to blow up. Because that's why we're here. Just kidding. Ugh. See, I think they lost. Okay. Oh, they have one person run away. That's okay. That's salvage for us, but more salvage. So that was station being destroyed. We got a bounty, one hundred thirty thousand for that. Strike mission is over, whatever else that was. So, cryovolcanic survey is while we're here. Okay, next. Is that the way we came in? I don't think so. Is it? Yeah, it is. Rebellion and Chandrilla disrupts commerce for 45 days. See, rebellions are annoying. Okay, where should we go next? More bounties? Thing in the area? 200 grand. 18 days remaining. So it's hiding out near a barren world in a system with a giant primary star in the constellation wherever here. Giant primary. It's an orange. Now there's another one there. A dwarf. Have we this one? Guess we have Empire in there. So they're not going to be there. It's been surveyed. Got a red giant up there, but I don't think that's technically in this area. Where are you hiding out? Near a barren world system with a yellow primary star. 12 days remaining Saturday on and one. Sunday, September 18th and 19th are the monthly giveaways for September. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. I think this, this guy is up here at the Red Giant, because this is the only giant star in this area. 
see what happens when I look at it this way. So, Strata Star System. This is the only giant. And this is the Elnor constellations that fits actually where it's supposed to be. Baron World is right in the El Elnor constellation. Well, that would be it. It's the only one. Maybe. I take that back. There's a blue giant up there. Wow, that's a really big area to cover. Oh, we'll go check out the red giant. I don't think we'll have enough time to uh, hit the blue, but we'll see. Let's jump. Save the time. Farther do we have to go? No, we can't. If we jump, we'll over jump. This is time though. Elsbeth has been decivilized. It's not one of my planets, so that's a good thing. Or not a good thing. Okay, look at it. Okay, so. Oof. So we're looking for Barren World, and we haven't been in the system before. Two unidentified planets. But there's three. Shoot. Check out this one. Down there. Mm -hmm. oh, how's that for luck? <laughs> uh, total luck. Yeah, so that's them. That's what we're looking for. So he's got a pro crusader, so he's got nothing really of significant size here. guys and we'll fighter him to death everywhere. I wish we could prearrange where everybody comes into the the fight. I wish that was a thing. So we didn't have to, you know, depend on their piloting skills. Carriers are following like they're supposed to. My fighters got annihilated. They're already all dead. At least out of my ship. Too many point defense weapons. Not that it matters, but...
say hello to my little ion cannons. Stupid deserters. That's who these guys were. Big ions? Actually, it's the long range ions are the best. They got something like a 1300 range or something. That's before any type of modifications. I forget what's on the Star Destroyer, though. Oh, look. One survived. Decimator. Imperial Transport. Pursue them. Second Command. We'll have victory and a couple of these smaller ships come after him. And didn't get away. Ship recovery. So, Vindicator. We don't want any of these guys that are too small for us. Oops. I do not think oops means what you think it means. Oh, it does. So, that was a bounty of 216,000. Shipikara is a victory. It's really beat up though, so it's not really worth a lot. Take too much money or time to uh, get it back up in running shape. Not that we need a victory. So, stuff. So, now we're back up to 600 grand. Not including salvage and whatever. Let's survey this planet. The Baron. 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 Why is that one different color? Let's go find out. I'm curious. Why is that one a different color? Hey, look, we're at positive income. 3,500. <laughs> ah. Is that where we're going? Going up here. Mm -hmm. Positive money. Look at that. 3,500. So, colony. Uh, Chandrilla is at positive now, too. Hot is 49. Rocketfield's getting up there, too. Vancala. It's almost positive. We'll, we'll be running, rolling in the money soon enough. Again, it's all about those stupid rebellions, which someday will go away, maybe. I don't care about that one. This one isn't so... looks more like a desert planet, but I guess it is barren. It's a different color for whatever reason. Maybe because of the rich ore. Anyway. Okay, bounties. Now this guy, one day remaining, so we're not going to find him in time. Six days, 34, oh, that was not worth it. 100 grand, it's not worth the trip. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for a new batch of bounties to come up. Let's see, calling threats. So, down to those rebellions. Three of them belong to me. Oh, so somebody lost there. Hoth doesn't have its rebellion anymore. Is it still ours? <laughs> it's gotta, if you don't see a rebellion anymore, you got to make sure this planet still belongs to you, and it does. Okay. That works. Um, this place is some unexplored stars. We're here. It's an independent world. So what's wrong with this one? Oh, that's right. This is a random setup, so this doesn't really have to make sense. Jump out. Dun -dun. Oh. Mercantile con. That's convoy sucks. 
and all those crappy ships. We paid better money than that. I forgot to look at my blueprints to see what, what ships I have access to building. Or what ships can I build? Sorry. So we've got the uh, barren desert world. Barren bombarded. Barren desert. Let's go check that one out. That's the only one that's going to probably be a potential colony. Not that we need one right now, but always looking for better planets. <laughs> Got to flip over there to our left. Abundant ore, sparse rare, vast ruins. So, not horrible, but it is barren, so it means no atmosphere. Oh, it's got a thin atmosphere. Oh, it's actually not that bad. Only plus 50% to the hazard. Decivilized, though, so that's 75. So there's no stable ruling uh, polity here. Civilization has collapsed and current population is effectively unknown. Though groups of survivors, bandits, and laborers, or looters, can be detected. So, eh. We'll check out the ruins. Alpha core. Good thing we came here. Can always use an alpha core. Efficiency overhaul. Hardened shields and shield conversion. Dun, dun, dun. So this alpha core we can put to good use somewhere. Uh, let's see. No, we don't need to right now. Hoth is being managed by a person, so that's good. She just seems to be doing well up there. 138,000. If we have more money, let's go find another colony. Now, what's over here to our left? Ah, uh, they're suing us, huh? So, that is. Looks like New Republic. I don't know why they're pursuing us, though. Comlink. What do they have to say? We've come here to kill you, Dart Gimpy. Die in the name of the New Republic. New Galactic Republic. So not the New Republic. There's a New Galactic Republic. Um, let's see. Moving all the lasers and some missiles. And a few fighters here and there. So the victories they're using, I think, uh, TIE Defenders and a Bomber Squadron. The Interdictors, I think. Yeah, Interdictors. Interdictors are a nice little bomber. That's not super expensive. Of course, the TIE Defenders are TIE Defenders. Hi, Suicide Marauder. What the hell are you doing out here by yourself? That was a suicide run. This is a nebula, right? Yeah, it's a nebula. I just need to learn how to maneuver a little bit better. I've got no fighters left. 
Ah, one of these. I don't think we've run into these into one of these yet, combat-wise. This is a CIS ship, actually. But for whatever reason, the New Republic gets it, too. It's not very impressive. It's big, but it's definitely not impressive. It's a carrier? Well, it got way too close. <laughs> For a carrier, it was way too close. Bet they're running. They realize the error of their ways here. And they're running like chickens. Like the Republic always does. They never stick around the fight, they always run. See, look at them retreating. Cowards. Nothing but cowards. Look at all the ones that retreated. Chickens. All of them. We shall pursue them. Now they try to run. Make sure those guys cut them off. Bring in the carriers with all the fighters. Some gunships, stuff here, and missiles. And see how that goes. Public soldiers are very brave. Yes, they are. Very brave. Of course, we're running them down with a bunch of carriers and missile ships. Wow, look how fast they get up here. Kill him. What are you guys waiting for? You're flying the wrong way. Seriously, you guys are flying the wrong way. How do you not see that guy right there? Missiles. You have them. Use them. Holy sh wonder why so many of them get away. Okay, that one can get away. That one's going to get away. Um, you know, they have missiles. I don't know why they don't use them. He's going to get away because reasons. Oh, we're going to lose a Marauder because you guys don't want to use your missiles for some reason. Uh, that is a Nebulon or a Nebulon B there. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Still, he's up gun now. Go. Again, I don't know why they're so reluctant to use their missiles. All the ones that got away, because missiles weren't used. 
Ship recovery. Ooh. What is this thing anyway? So this is the Lucre Hulk class battleship was a primary capital ship of the Trade Federation's Trade Defense Force. Deploy probe droid. Deploys a probe droid to capture a battle objective. 12 medium energy, 14 small, 8 fighter bays. So yes, it's most definitely a carrier. But man, the thing died fast. In zero BBY, it participated in an assault on the first Death Star and was destroyed by the battle station's super, la super laser. What? When did that happen? <laughs> we, that didn't happen in the movies. Where did that come from? We never saw anything like that in the movies. I, I love it when they make shit up afterwards. Through the wreckage. It is in a back, in a background. I know it was in a background, but there was no fights. There was no mention of uh, fleet offensive there during the first battle, or the first Death Star. The Rebel Fleet didn't have anything like that in the area. See, they make stuff up. It's really annoying. Graphic bug. Killed one of the Minotaurs in Pathfire and his axe just stands straight up like a pillar. Looks funny. Well, you shouldn't have killed him, Catgar. Okay. Um, so the shipyard here, on Calamari shipyard's got a uh, sleeper cell. I guess I should dig around and see where all those sleeper cells are. We have to go back there and talk to people. We have the money to do it, so let's go talk to people. I think I've been fairly lucky with graphic bugs in uh, Wrath of the Righteous so far. I haven't really noticed any. At least, well, take that back. Sometimes they like fly really far distances, but nothing uh, earth shattering. <laughs> you didn't kill him. You, tr you tried to help him by punching him until he wanted to be your friend. You didn't give in. Sad story. Aw. Poor Minotaur. You need more pizza slices. Conquest mission. to there. Incoming message. I have no idea how to say that name, but thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. That's where I want to go, I guess. Look, it's Hoth. Let's see. So we were looking at Cendralia, Mancala. I'll call my shipyards. Okay, so which one's closest to us? Hoth. Yeah, let's go check out Cendrilla. This is where our uh, main storage and marketplace are. Another officer. Can you do? Range specialist. 
So ballistic and energy weapons deal up to 30% more damage at long range. I got so many captains now, I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, colony. Oh, there's no market here. I thought we had a market here. It's because it's disrupted for 24 more days. Damn it. So this stuff goes into storage. Turbo laser, there's that stuff. Sets. Okay. So that's the stuff we're throwing in storage. Sort that all out. So that later. I got plenty of room in storage still. Um, outside the bar. You did it wrong. This is how you do it. Warg. Please Domestic excuse goods. me. That was embarrassing. I meant to say, Jag. Oh. Okay, so we've got 10 units of heavy armor and set uh, the shipyard here and get rid of as soon as possible. You'd accept 270 credits per unit, which makes for whatever. I don't need that stuff. Shifty person. Uh, this is for raiding somewhere that stuff. So, there's no information here about the Ludic Pat that's supposed to be operating in this area. Okay. So. Weapon groups here. Let's see if we get the, the twin long-range ion cannons. Those things are nasty. Heavy quad turbo lasers. Good here. I think we're okay. Well, most of these ships are doing fine. Oh, it's these guys that need to be redone. Their weapons are all not consistent. So, spherical ions, octuples, quad turbo lasers. Odd laser cannon, so that works. Oh, those shouldn't be on the same group. Some regular turbo lasers. We want to upgrade the guns on this thing, I think. But with what? It's quad laser cannons. These are point defense. That's good. Point defense. Tuples. Those are fine. Ion cannons along the center, like there. Quad laser cannons again. Point defense. So launcher. So quad lasers. These are all fine. Octuples here. Quad turbo lasers. So it's a 15 pointers. You want to do the, the tame back quad turbo lasers now just because of naming things. We should have some. Go. Yeah. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. 
You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Happy Saturday. So we're doing the guns here. So these regular, these are turbo lasers. I don't know which notes, where are they? It's the quad turbo. Oh, those are regular turbo lasers. Ten points. Those guys are fifteen. So, what are the ten pointers do we have that might be an upgrade? So, yeah, range is nine fifty. Damage is one hundred per second. Damage is seven. 14, 133. So the KDD duo turbo lasers. These are 167. I think those are the best you can do at 10 points. So we do these. God, we have, we need more of them. 148 isn't enough. Wow, it does more damage than that thing does. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Dual turbines. Only the four of them? It's only the four of them. But these quads. Damage is 200. These guys' damage range is, damage is 125. Range is 1,000. These guys' range is 950. Flex per second is 42. 167. Wow. 125. These are better. <laughs> These 10 point ones are better. The range isn't that. There's a little bit shorter range. Damage is 100 times 2. Their 100 damage is 75 times 4. Huh. What other 15 pointers can we put on this thing? The yeah, octuple at 200, heavy duel at 273. 250. Heavy quad at 250. Five. Five Techno League twenty eight A spherical quad turbo laser twelve hundred range two seventy you pansy get back in there and fight what are those those there I mean it's even better than the octuples are nice, but ah. so quad laser cannons are all good. This point defense stuff. These guys, those guys. Can't make it so they're all, because these all fire on the same half of the ship here. So we can all split these guys over to there. That's fine. Let's start a little bit together. 
Circle Iron Cannons. A couple of barbarites, those guys are on the nose. I wonder how this is going to work. Okay, this guy still has a lot of stuff to be repaired. Okay, so we're going to auto fit. This will be that one that we just finished. This one's basically the same build. Deflector shield, reinforced bulkheads are permanent. So we're going to strip this one down and put the uh, same build. So strip, auto fit, that one. Confirm. So now that they work. So we have uh, the octuples, spherical quad lasers for fun. Actually, you should probably replace those. If those guys are on the nose. Maybe we should put the spherical quads if we have enough. Dun, dun, dun. Spherical quads, where are you? We have four left. So that works for that one. Ah, it's ion cannons. How do they? Those get over there. Did I put spherical ion cannons? I did. Those are the wrong ones. Oops. Those are not the right ones. We wanted spherical quads, not ion cannons. Spherical quads, there we go. Near weapon groups. Set. This one. These oops are screwed up, so you go there and then there. Okay. So auto fit that one. That's the one we want to keep. Okay, so. So we've basically just up the firepower on these a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. These quad turbo lasers have uh, really nice damage at 1200 meters. So we basically upped its uh, broadside power. Because we, we upgraded these 10 point weapons too. We still have the octuples. Oh, we have quad lasers. No, those are the point defense. These are the ones pointing forward. Yeah, basically, if these things come broadside, they're a little bit more dangerous. Because we upgraded these uh, four back here. Not long, super long range, but. 950, 160 damage is one of the better 10 point weapons. So, I'll set. Okay. And as far as our fleet goes, what ships don't have a captain? You don't. She is a strike commander, which means she likes to command fighter squadrons and. Before that, I still got to mentor you. Aggressive. Mentor you as well. And mentor you too. Okay. So, damage to fighters and missiles. Target leading accuracy while riding weapons. Ballistic and weapon range. Want you over there? I guess it'll work. 
So, our people who don't currently have jobs are going to throw you in some civilian ships because... Well, maybe not you. Because you're already maxed out. These guys need to pick up some experience. I think they pick up experience no matter what. As long as you put them in a ship, I think they pick up experience whether, whether the ship sees combat or not. So, we'll see. Okay, anybody leveling up? Yes, you and the... That's a gunship. Take damage control so we don't lose the ship. Leveled up two, you're in a tartan, so... No. That's target analysis. Okay. Oh, stop that. Stop that. You're supposed to be in there. <laughs> so, this one no longer has a commander. You are this guy. Okay, so level up. Helmsman, strike commander. Blah. Um, damn it. He just got his uh, damage control. Don't want to be a strike commander. Helmsman, maneuverability, top speed, stuff, missiles. Oh, you can put missiles and throw them in a marauder, maybe. What do marauder pilots look like? I could throw them in that one. That might work. Okay. So we'll give him a missile specialization, make his missiles a little bit more durable. And then we'll throw him in one of these Marauders. She has that already. He doesn't. He doesn't either. So, you get replaced by... Who was it? This guy. Okay, and then... They swapped it in there. Yeah, they swapped. Okay, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, fleet maintenance. Fleet maintenance. Now, the colonies. Chandrilla looks to be coming around. Hoth is slowly coming around. We still have rebellion, so. Kamali Moncal and Chandrilla. Chandrilla. Not much I can do about that. The rebellions just have to go away on their own. Okay, what about bounties? We need more money. 196. 198, sorry, 298. It's 204. Wow, some good bounties out here. It's not terribly far away. Okay, you. He's rumored to be hiding near a volcanic world in the system with a giant primary star in the Elnor constellation. So, it's either the Red Giant. Or. Blue Giant. Giant primary star. Oh, got lucky going to the red giant last time. How many days do we have? 29 days. Now we'll go hit the red giant first and see how it goes. Because what kind of world was it? Volcanic world. I unfortunately did not survey all the planets. Baron. Baron. Baron, Baron. So it's not this system. It's not this system. Could be the blue. And we haven't been here yet. So there's a good there's a chance it could be this well. Some blue giants. That's outside this constellation. Yeah, I 
think it's only the it's either the blue or the red giants here. There's no other giants in this constellation, it looks like. Yep. Okay. Off we go. Jump out here. We're good on supplies, we're good on fuel. And happy Saturday, everyone. Thank you all very much for coming out. Hope you have a good weekend so far. Montcalm Iron Ship here. Lytic Path cells have dissolved. Yay. So, volcanic eye, uh, volcanic planet. Let's go land on this one. Drop in on that one. There he is. <laughs> Got lucky. I can. Okay, so not a huge fleet. Uh, four victories, some uh, dreadnoughts, or a couple of dreadnoughts, some small freighters or frigates. Oh, they're consular. Yeah, the crappy frigates. So, we need to engage. Take you guys, test those guys out, see how they do. And... That should be enough. In all honesty, that should be enough. Save us a little bit of supplies. Hopefully. Although we're kind of lacking in fighters. Well, that might have been a mistake, but we'll be okay, I think. We've got a lot of point defense between these four ships. Dun, dun, dun. There they are. Oh, I guess we don't need to do that because we don't have any fighters except for my three squadrons. friends. Kind of embarrassed he killed that thing faster than I killed mine. And I think we win. Ah, uh, one of them ran. Dreadnought ran. Chickens. So much for being, uh, brave people. Pursue. Send them a victory or two. Some of those. Missile boats. And didn't get away that time. Ship recovery. Ooh, that's a fairly healthy victory. We can sell that one decently, I think. So, there's that uh, easy money. 204,000. And we got a commission from the Empire, too, for another six. Hey, we're up to 69,000, make, making 69,000 a month now. Rebellion disrupted the way station over on Chandrilla. 
so annoying. Okay, next quest. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. Just did. 17 days, 24. How far are you? You are. She is hiding out near a gas giant in a system with a primary or a giant primary star in the Arvald constellation. Near a gas giant this or hiding out near a gas giant with a giant primary star. You mean like the red giant or the orange giant? Unfortunately we haven't been surveying. But at least we've been here. Baron, Baron, Baron. So no gas giants there. Let's see. Just looking at the stars. There's a super giant, but that is in the wrong constellation. So more than likely it's this one. Let's go check that out. Jump, jump, jump. Don't fly through the star, you morons. How far is it? Hmm. You can jump. Probably over jump, though. Oh, we got remnants in the system, it looks like. So, gas giant. Gas giant. I don't think any of these planets are gas giants. Oh, Grace and Gav Gravity Well. Oh, actually, this one might be. <coughs> Excuse me. How dangerous is it here? Low. This would be a gas giant. There he is. Ooh. Potential uh, colony right there. Ecumena, Ecumena, probably, whatever. That planet. Go check it out after we're done with these guys. Okay. You. Bring those guys in again. We'll bring a couple of fighters just in case. You escort him and you escort him. Hopefully they don't run into anybody. They're trying pretty hard, it looks like. Maybe? Okay, we're good. So, this should be really, they were super, this, the bounty on these guys is pretty high, but their fleet didn't look very big. Which is odd. Maybe it's the quality of the ships, maybe, but it's not going to matter. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go left. Oh, that's a that's a frigate. Oh, that's right. This is a CIS uh, deserter fleet. That's what's going on. Best you can do. Ah, look at you over there. That's pretty much is it. That's it. That's gonna be it for these guys. Oh, come on. It's 
still have some red lasers on these guys. I don't know which ones are causing that. Okay, so those guys. Uh, pursue. Second command can take them. And the victories. You guys. More than enough to kill them. And they didn't get away. Ship recovery. Hmm. So it's destroyer. Nope. Salvage. Ah, that's a freighter. Not as good as ours, though. Okay, so there's another 200,000. We're up to 1.2 million. And there's a nice uh, survey, surveyable world around here. That is... There we go. So this world is going to potentially nice uh, colony candidate here. And if it is, we'll probably colonize it right now. Supply cash. What are you doing here? Stuff. There's stuff down here too. To the south. And there's supposed to be. A, isn't there supposed to be remnants in this system? Ah, blueprint. So, Valkyrie class troop transport. Uh, the standard destroyer size troop transport with enough uh, room to carry two companies of marines. Technically, it is weak for its size. Only able to. Okay. Stuff. Dun, 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 dun. Why are we eating up so much in supplies? So remnants are here. A mining station. Automated defenses. Sure. We'll take it on just with the destroyer or star destroyer. Kill their little drones. No problem. They didn't even kill one of our TIE fighters, not one. No, no AIs, unfortunately. Okay, cargo manifest found on the salvage crew sent to the station. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Ooh, Star Wars blueprint, midline blueprint package. So, more ships for us to build. More fighter wings, too. Anikatos, uh, what kind of game is Star Sector? Is it on Steam? No. Seems sort of interesting. You can only buy it from one place, and that's directly from the devs. And just type in exclamation point Star Sector in chat for a link. It's pretty cheap. It's a good game. It's really good. I've been following it for six or seven years now, when it first came out. <laughs> and um, it's been a development. It's been slow development because it started off as one guy working on it. Now they're up to four guys working on it. And um, it's pretty good. I mean, it's technically not officially released yet, but um, for a game that's not officially released, it's really well done. There's a, a fairly active uh, mod scene as well. Is it an RTS? No, it is not an RTS at all, actually. Saturday and Sunday, September 18th and 19th are the monthly giveaways for September. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. 
Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Actually, it's not like it's not an RTS, and it's not like Stellaris either. It, have you ever heard of the game Mount and Blade, where you basically control um, a single army that you move around? You can recruit, bring you know different recruits into it, and you roam around, do whatever you want type deal. But it's like uh, medieval. Okay, this is basically Mount and Blade in space. Is probably the closest uh, comparison you can make because you don't you only control one fleet. And the base size, the maximum size, without modifying any files, is 30 ships. Right now we're at 30 because we're carrying around an extra one. But um, this is basically the same idea. You know, you just you're controlling one fleet, and within that fleet, once you get into combat, you only directly control one ship. Although you can give orders to the other ships in your fleet, you only directly control like firing weapons and telling your fighters what to do, that kind of stuff. You only do you can only do that through one ship at a time or through one ship that's your flagship and everybody else you just give general orders to and they do their thing so the ships and lightsabers well no this is a mod so this is the star wars mod this is not the this is not the base this is not what the base game ships look like this is a star wars mod specifically so it's a little different but uh, as far as what the game is you know you you have you start the game off with a, with like three or four ships at most, uh, typically, and but you can start with one if you want, depending on how difficult you want the game to start off as. Um, then you can do pretty much what you want. You can be a combat-related person, you know, going around, you know, uh, doing bounties or uh, just fighting for one particular faction or another. Uh, you get commissioned for that. Uh, you can be a merchant. You can be a pirate if you want. Um, you can, there's a bunch of different choices. It's rare to see mods. Well, the game has been out for a number of years now, too. It's been out, like I said, six or seven years now. It's been in development that long. It's Calling it a priority game is kind of not fair to the game because it's pretty... It's stable. Um, there's a lot to do. Sounds like X3 and 2.5. And nah, not quite. No, nah, X3 is a little more... Um, because you, yeah, X3 is, is it's different. Off, I mean, it's different. <laughs> it's different. X3 might be, yeah, the economy I think is deeper for sure. Well, you do have to, you do have colonies though. We do, we currently control four colonies. The um, but you don't have the, the flexibility that you have in X3. Because X3, you know, okay, I want to, you know, the station's going to build food and, you know, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And even though the colonies are kind of like that, um, you know, each each colony has resources related to it at the top of the line here, or top of the screen. Like this particular planet, it's got the rich farmland, the abundant rare ores, rich ore deposits and more organics and that kind of stuff and it's got other stuff that affects its growth and that's kind of fun stuff yeah the, the stations here aren't uh, they're definitely different but yeah you could it's it's kind of making a comparison to the X series isn't uh, too far off but uh, comparing it to Mountain Blade is a little bit more accurate just the way the whole you know you, you, the way you fly around and stuff you know, this is very Mountain Blade-ish. Uh, combat, you know, it's separate from here. And uh, again, you just have the one, you, the one ship you're controlling and everybody else is you're giving orders to and that kind of stuff. Uh, I can see simulators between, similarities between this and X, the X-Series, though. Salvage stuff. And then this is the planet that we need to survey. So you can have 30 ships. If you lose one in battle, it's lost permanently and can't be replaced. It can just be repaired or it can't be replaced ever. It depends. <laughs> this, this, there's just there's so many factors right there. Ships can be lost in combat. They can be permanently lost. Um, you can sometimes salvage them back after combat is done, depending on basically what kind of modifications have been done to the ship and if there's a captain or a mercenary officer that's uh, controlling that ship they have the some of those guys have skills that you can give to them 
that uh, increases the chance of recovering ships if they're lost in combat. And then you as a as a person as a character too, your your main character has skills that increases the chance of recovering ships after combat, not just your own, but other sh the ships you're fighting against too. So yeah, ships can't be salvaged and ships can't be lost. And then when you do recover them, they usually have uh, or they have damage done to them. They have what they call damage modifications. And those can be repaired or removed with a certain skill um, that is kind of random than how it works and that kind of stuff. So, so the, yeah, there's, we, yeah, I guess, and you haven't seen, uh, well, let me survey this one. We're looking for colony co candidates here. So this one, Bendic Organics, Moderate Ore, Too Bad, Ultra Rich Rare. Adaptive farmland, scattered ruins. So this is a very much a colony for us, going to be. Um, I'll explore the ruins. So explore ruins, I'll pick up some extra stuff. Now we can establish a colony. So this is the civilized the civilized. That kind of stuff, ruins, farmland, that's colony, and this we'll just call this uh, spot niche. There we go. So we just colonize this planet. Now we have to use stockpiles during shortages. Uh, if you can do the administration, we're going to pay hazard pay to increase the growth, which costs us money every month. Interesting thing, we're going to build a farm. Get that going, and once uh, spaceport's done, we'll do some other stuff. So, so this takes time, you know, costs money. It takes, takes time to get everything going. But this is a nice planet, so we're done there. Um, hey, Biff, welcome back. So I'll pause here for a second. So and so this is your fleet screen. This is all your ships you currently have in your fleet. And currently we have all 30 slots filled, but you can go in and make modifications to certain files and you can make it so you can have as many ships as you want. Usually you have a limited amount of officers, but again, I went into the file and made sure that we can have more than the, I think you're maxed out at somewhere around 10. I made it so we can have 30, just because. <laughs> so for reasons. Uh, but then you can actually go in and customize the ships themselves. For instance, this is the Star Destroyer. You can put the... You have what you call the operation points in the upper right-hand corner. This ship has 530. This is the Allegiance Battlecruiser, 620. The Victory class is up 390. So different ships, different sizes. You have frigate, frigate class, destroyer class. Or sorry, not classes on the right. Frigate size, destroyer size, cruiser size, and battleship or capital size. Uh, Star Destroyers Capital, the Victories are Cruisers, these guys are Destroyers, and these guys are Frigates. So, as you can see, they all have different point stuff, and even the points are going to vary between ship to ship, even at the same sizes. Um, for example, the Star Destroyer and the, and the Allegiance, the Battle Cruiser, they have different uh, amounts of points to play around with. Then you have your capacitors and vents. This is a game. This game works on basically a heat system. If you're familiar with BattleTech or MechWarrior, you'd be very familiar with how this works. Um, your weapons, when they fire, they take. They re usually require heat or flux in this game, is what they call it. Um, when your shields take hits, it generates flux. So you need a way to disper disperse that flux. So that's what the ca capacitors and vents are. Capacitors increase the how much flux you can absorb or have built up and the vents of course get rid of it you know over time so you get that and you can customize all these values based on how many points you have to play around with the ship and these are your hull mods uh, the white numbers mean well these guys are permanently built in these are part of the ship itself the green ones these are what they call the built-in mods like these ones down here the ones with the next numbers next to them these are um, modification hull mods that you use the points to spend 15 15 25 and then you can use the build-in points or built build in these guys like the deflector shields deck crew and reinforced bulkheads 
we used uh, story points to make them permanently part of the ship. And that's why it's green. So that means once you put them in the story points, you can't remove them. Hey, Gimpy. Not a huge deal. Have you hydrated lately? Yes. If not, you really should. Okay, so this is, you know, this is good stuff, right? That's how it's supposed to work. Um, and then you can see the orange. These are damage modifications. So the this basically what this means is um, I picked this ship up through salvage. We defeated, you know, whatever fleet in combat. This is one of the ships we were able to salvage. Unfortunately, it has all these damage mods attached to it, which is penalizing the ship in some way or another. These can be removed either when you're docked at a planet and you want to you can throw money at it. It's usually generally very expensive, and you don't typically do it to a regular ship unless it's, you know, a ship you really, really want to be cleaned up. Um, but it's really expensive when you do it that way. There is a skill, though, that you can pick up in your character screen here, which is which one? Field repairs. So what this, what this particular skill does is every month there's a chance that one of the damage mods in your fleet will get removed for free. So if you, over enough time, all these ships with all the damage modifications, these will go away over time. <laughs> but again, it's random each month and you don't get control which ship is affected. So even though this one has, this, this ship has actually been with us for quite a while and it's never had a damage mod removed, but other ships have. So just again, it's random. But again, customizing the ships, very important part of the game. You don't have to do it because some of them do have what they call auto fits, already pre-built uh, blueprints, basically. All you have to do is click on them, and as long as you have the money, um, it'll do it. You know, you just confirm it, it'll automatically switch it over. As long as uh, the parts and stuff are all uh, available on the planet you happen to be at the time. So there's that. Um, again, these are just mods, or how mods you make to the ship how many points are, you know, the cost and what do they do. Some of them better than others. And um, some of these are related to the mod too, like the astromech droids. That's obviously related to the Star Wars stuff, as well as the Kyber Crystals, Jedi Commander, that kind of stuff. And they all do different things. So not too bad. Questions? <laughs> okay, so this is our newest uh, colony. Not too terribly far from the rest of us, I don't think. Yeah, there's Chandrilla. So we control this system, and then our Rocketville is down here. So not too far away from each other. Customize a lot of ships in the Master of Orion 2, which I played too much years ago. Like they've had manual turn-based combat too. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely Ma Master of Orion 2 is a classic. No question. I don't I don't even want to think how many hours I put into that game. Turn-based combat, that was definitely, yeah. Turn-based combat, uh, shield facings and everything, yes, that was... Nobody has really done that again, either, for whatever reason. At least I haven't seen it. Unfortunately, there is no shield facing in this game. There are shields, but uh, there is no particular facing. But, having said that, um, if you do get behind a ship, and the shields go down, that kind of stuff. You can shoot it and take and damage the engine so the in engines don't work anymore and the ship will just start, you know, drifting, that kind of stuff. Um, you can actually destroy uh, weapons too by shooting them during combat. Um, so the combat here is not simple, simple. There's lots of stuff that's going on and it's not always obvious that it's happening. You know, it's just numbers and text. Yeah, it, 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 well, it's <laughs> everybody. It, you know, a lot of people don't do that stuff again because they just say, "Oh, that's just you know, you're just you're just copying Master of Orion." A lot of people, a lot of developers, specifically don't do stuff like that because they don't want to be accused of just copying a different game. It's not because it's not a good idea or it doesn't. It's not good. It's just they don't want to be accused. They don't want to be seen as copying another game. So that's why you see a lot of the stuff that we saw in the past that isn't around as much anymore. The tech was worse. I don't think it was worse. It was just different. It wasn't worse. It was different. Hey, Battle, welcome back. Hot tub. Gimpy. 
Are you getting in the hot tub? It's bad as fuck. It is going to make you sweat. We still copy each other and placing a small picture and a number to represent buildings. Well, that's just... But how many of those games do you consider classics? <laughs> There's the other question is, the, when they copy each other today, what, what game are they... If they're copying each other, how many of those games are you going to be considered calling them classics in 20, 30 years from now, like you are with Master of Orion? So how about that? That's, that's the question you have to ask. <laughs> Is because because they're doing it today and they're copying each other. It's like they're probably copying each other because that's what's being done today. Because you got to remember, a lot of the devs that are working today in video games weren't probably alive, or at least they were kids when Master of Orion came out. So <laughs> you got to remember that too. So you know, it's just a different way of doing things. Okay, so I'm taking this. I guess we should survey the rest of the planets and the system since we're here. Mm, a remnant fragment. What are you doing up there? Aging class battle cruiser. Which one is this one? Ah, 14th Legion. If I was playing vanilla, I would pick this thing up, but we're not, so we saw with it. Depth, really, because it has random events and many other things adding depth. Well, yeah, it's like you don't really want to see games copying each other just because, right? Because it's a because it's an easy thing to do. You want to see people be a little bit more original, which is getting harder and harder to do. Still have to get rid of this victory that I'm lugging around. Rebellion failed to disrupt a way station on the uh, Mon Calamari shipyard. I'm not a fan of endless space for various reasons. Which is funny because I like the other Endless games. That's probably, of the Endless games, Space is the one that I definitely uh, like the least. Oh, no, don't want to do that. Cancel. It's Poor Man's Stellaris? Oh, I wouldn't even say that. This is a barren planet. <clears throat> so, Savage Crew discovered a transmitter, whatever. This is an, oh, this is an omen. Eh. Salvage for parts, no big deal. Let's see. Mechanic World, Baron. Oh, I've got a nap buoy. Oh, I guess I should build another satellite here if we can, if we've got the parts. I don't think I have the parts for one, but we'll see. Get something else down there. Okay, construct a comm relay. And we do have the parts. We do. Okay. So, comm relay gives a stability bonus to the planet and stuff because they have communications to the rest of the galaxy. 
combat freighter. We'll just salvage this. Stupid hound. Okay. Now we want to take this nav buoy. Pirate base bounty expired. That's okay. So we have a remnant flying around, just not doing anything, which is fine. Dun -dun. So we're just cleaning up this system, see what's here, now that we've uh, put a colony here. Personal bounty, 229,000 reward, 45 days. We we'll should probably try to pick that one up if it's not too far away. Oh, and the comm relay we put in there allows us to see the bounties, too. We have something up here. Orbital habitat. Remnants. Suits in the habitat. Upturish ore deposit location. Let's salvage this. Stuff. Oof, we are over by a lot. Um, what did we pick up? We got 5,000 metal. Oh, a lot of food. Let's dump the metal for now. And then we will stabilize these so they stay around a little bit longer. Needs up some supplies. And they Okay, so again, we're going to go take this uh, buoy, and then we're going to go back to Mickey's Mirage and dump off his uh, stuff. There's something over here. Okay, claim and bring it online. It's up some heavy machinery. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to break it up. Amongst us now. So, no, oh, this is a nebula. Oh, not the nebula we thought it was, but... This is going to put us at 31 ships, but that's okay. Okay, let's head back to uh, Mickey's Mirage and get rid of all the stuff we're carrying around. Monthly income, 128. So we're starting to make more and more money now. Our colonies are starting to stabilize. Because we took away, what, four from the rebel of the New Republic. Okay. Our ships, manage colony. So what we're going to do is resource stockpile. We'll put all this food here because they will actually use that. Let's see. Eh, throw the metal, all this stuff. We don't need to carry that stuff around. Throw that in there for now too. That too, and that. Okay. So, colony, spaceport's done. Farming is uh, 54 days away from being finished, so we're going to build a way station here. Let's get that, 1.1 million left. Let's do... I'm going to build a patrol HQ. This will put a uh, fleet, or little patrol fleets around to protect the system. Now we're down to 800,000. We'll stop there. We won't build a station here yet. Got to get a little bit more money. Okay, now we're going to go pick up that metal we just dumped over on the other side of the system up here. If somebody hasn't picked it up yet. Somebody chasing me. Yes, they are. Oh, that's where we didn't dump our ship yet. Okay, we will take all that. Plenty of room. 
So these guys, I don't think they realize what they're doing. Um, like so pirates this is the end of you are you sure I don't know why you guys are chasing us I should tear them apart they are very beat up ships oh, if I would have brought more fighters probably would have killed them faster but there's a lot of guns on these four So, happy Saturday. <laughs> I don't know why these pirates were chasing me. Paid parking tickets? Despaired or I don't think so. I mean, they're pirates. What are pirates gonna do? A piece of the gimpy. Hey, I'll put her back. The fame? What fame? Pirate toll? Pirates don't charge for tolls. I think he's toast. Nope. Bad shots from him. Look at you dance around. They're moving really fast. Oh, look, missiles. Oh, I think I had time sped up there, I think. I think that's why they're moving so quick. I hit the wrong key. I, I hit a bad key somewhere. How do you move for a Star Warship? Yes. Oh, I don't have any fighters left. Fighters take this thing on? Not yet. Waiting for my fighters to get uh, reconstructed. There should be more than enough to kill that one. See? No problem. catch them now. Oh well. Okay, so pursue them. Second command can chase them down. I have a couple of victories. One got the condor still got away. Ship recovery. Nope. Salvage. Um, no. Doesn't do. Yeah. <laughs> Modified freighters for combat. I'm sure that goes well. Okay, so Mickey's. Yes, yeah, so we have too many ships currently. Let's see, we want to throw one of these in storage, like that one. Can't sell it yet. OK, 
Okay. Hello, Gimpy. It's time to take a break. So it is. Go check on the dogs. Okay. Your next break is in two hours. Okay, so this is a good spot to stop and take a break. And let's save real quick. Okay, so I'm going to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of stuff, check on the dogs. And if you've been watching the stream for a little while, I suggest you do the same. So anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll continue on. Thank you very much for watching.